לראות את החמה מהירה ולהגיד, גם אני מאיר, גם בי יש אור לעם ישראל. אנחנו לא יודעים מה תועלת שיש בכל אחד, אנחנו לא יודעים כמה כל אחד עצום. John says there are many antichrists in the world. Many antichrists, says in his epistle. There always have been, there always will be, because that's a ploy of Satan to assault Christ, to go against Christ. The spirit of antichrist gives honor to a false Jesus, which is an attack on his nature. Many Jews around the world believe that the Messiah has finally arrived. Perhaps they missed the memo that the Messiah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, came about 2,000 years ago. Some claim that Israel's Messiah, Yanuka Rav Shlomo Yehuda, has the power to heal the sick. Here we are now, blessed is Hashem after seven months. First, we brought him straight to the Rav. We will make a festival meal, buy him a gift with Hashem's help, okay? A holy one should give you joy, and you should have a good life. Now they call him Honored Rav. We saw great miracles. The Rav guaranteed he was suffering. He was eating through his veins and using morphine. He was by the Rav. He was by the Rav. We had supernatural miracles. They attribute what happened to this boy to the Rav. And then they give the glory to Hashem in the same breath. We are thankful to the Rav for this. And the Rav healed the child. Hundreds, if not thousands of people follow him wherever he goes. And many Jews believe he is the Messiah. Note how the crowd gathers to catch a glimpse of this false messiah. Title Yanuka is given to somebody who is extremely well versed in both the Torah, which is the Old Testament, and the Talmud, which is the oral traditions handed down through generations by the Jews, and they started writing them. He's also very proficient in music. So was the devil, just saying. Um, but yeah, he's extremely... Like, this isn't even humanly possible. For somebody to have memorized all of that by the age of 15, he has prominent rabbis following him. You can see people just mobbed around him and kissing his hands and proclaiming miracles from this man. Uh, and you can see them crowded around. All of these people here are there to see him. Yanuka's influence has reached the United States, and many Jewish rabbis claim this could be the Messiah the Jews have been waiting for all along. So then, very disturbing news once again. Uh, the Messiah is here. They're actually putting up these signs in New York. This was June 23rd, 2022, guys, a couple of months back. They're putting signs saying the Messiah has arrived. Top rabbis are visiting him. These guys also helping out putting uh, pictures of the Messiah, that the Messiah has arrived. Israel rabbi says he's already holding meetings with the Mashiach, with the Messiah. Uh, guys, September 29th, 2022. Um, this is a report from Israel today. These are real reliable sources. Uh, this is Israel 365, October 21st, 2022. And what does it say here? Um, Rabbi Shaim Kaveneski, Kaneveski, a leading authority in mainstream ultra-Orthodox ultra Judaism, that the coming of the Messiah is imminent. He is urging Jews to make Aliyah as soon as possible. Aliyah, the Hebrew verb for going up, refers to immigrating to Israel, right? So reaching the heavens, which is seen as a higher spiritual action that can help 
in the coming of the Messiah. Please join us in our fight for the truth. Please share our videos, subscribe, like, and comment. We appreciate your help. Satan loves to impersonate Christ, and we must warn people to avoid false messiahs. Pay attention to the English translation of the texts. At age 12, Jesus was found in the temple sitting among Jewish teachers, listening to them and asking them deep questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature, and in favor with God and man. Luke 2, verses 47 and 52. Devil has no new tricks, because this young man has an extraordinary ability to read and interpret the Torah just like Jesus did during his day, many Jews are heralding him as the Messiah. Many claim that the Yanuka, the false messiah, heals the sick. Please pay close attention to Job 22 verse 28, which they use to support their claim that Yanuka can heal people. This man claimed the counterfeit messiah healed the malignant tumor. here is this false messiah speaking to an individual in a wheelchair. If he had the power to heal, this would have been the perfect opportunity to cure this individual. To be clear, even if Yanuka Rav Shlomo Yehuda could heal people, it would have made no difference. He would still be a false messiah because the messiah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, has come, and there is no need to look for another. If the Jews had only read their Torah well, they would have seen that Jesus accurately fulfilled the prophecy as the Messiah. It has always been Satan's antichrist strategy to affirm the wrong Christ, the wrong Jesus, and thus to subtly deceive people. And the antichrist, it's not that they attack Christ, it's not that they deny Christ, they create a false Christ. So watch yourselves, watch yourselves, your reward, your eternal reward is at stake. Folks, we are witnessing what Jesus himself foretold about 2,000 years ago. These are signs of the imminent return of Jesus Christ. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, what things? The rising of false prophets and messiahs, wars, pestilence, and persecutions, know that it is near, even at the doors.
And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Matthew 24, verse 30. The world is moving so fast. The number of false prophets has increased drastically across the globe. The religious world is heading toward a one-world government, with the Pope as the supreme leader. We warned you about it on this channel. World political leaders are working covertly to create a one-world government. Tech giants such as Neuralink, owned by Elon Musk, are moving to the next phase of implanting chips in people's brains. We warned you about it on this channel. While no one knows the hour, day, or year when Jesus will return, he warned us to look for certain signs and events that must first occur. Get ready, folks. Jesus is coming soon. If you are not born again, cry out to Jesus today to save you. Tomorrow is not promised.